Oh, you thought the bodies in your favorite horror movie were fake? You probably thought your favorite creepy movie was made of special effects and fake blood and bodies. But the truth is, some directors have done the unthinkable to make their creations as realistic as possible. In fact, some of them are a bit too real. These are the 10 most disturbing films ever made. Number one is Cannibal Holocaust. One of the most truly disturbing films ever made, as it turns out, took it a bit too far. So far, in fact, that some lives were really lost. Released on February 7th, 1980, Cannibal Holocaust is an Italian horror film directed by Ruggiero Diodato. The movie became the subject of controversy over the incredibly realistic and truly graphic violence throughout the 96 minute runtime. In fact, Diodato was actually arrested shortly after the film premiered due to many people believing that some actors actually died on camera, mostly because the violence appeared to be really happening. He was later cleared, but the movie was still banned in multiple countries. Despite the actors surviving making the film, it turns out that it was in fact the animals that really suffered, with much of the brutality towards them actually committed. Number two is Pink Flamingos. Initially released on March 17, 1972, Pink Flamingos is a disgusting movie created by John Waters who produced, wrote, shot, edited, and directed it, likely because nobody else wanted in on its creation. This self-proclaimed American comedy follows a drag queen character named Babs Johnson, who must defend her title as the filthiest person alive against a few other people who, for some bizarre reason, really want to steal it from her. In one incredibly disgusting scene, characters consume dog feces, a prop that has, since then, been confirmed to have been 100% real. That's right, the actors ate real dog feces on camera. Number three is Visitor Q. Produced with a budget of only $60,400, Visitor Q was released on March 17, 2001 and contains everything that you'd expect from a film to make this list. This Japanese black comedy slash drama slash horror film by director Takashi Mikey delves into the dark incestual lives of a truly sick family through the use of the popular found footage gimmick that we saw from the Blair Witch Project. Crafted to resemble a low budget documentary, Visitor Q includes scenes of rape, prostitution, drug use, and even necrophilia, all committed by members of this family, often with other members of the family and the infamous Visitor Q. But in one truly stomach-churning scene, the father, Kayoshi, comments on how easy it was for him to physically have sex with a corpse due to something corpses naturally do soon after dying the voiding of their bowels. Number four is I Spit on Your Grave. Written, produced, directed, and edited by Mir Zarchi, I Spit on Your Grave was released on November 22nd of 1978 and was almost immediately met with controversy, most notably due to its incredibly graphic violence and a far too long scene involving a sexual assault. Also known as Day of the Woman, what makes this film even more disturbing is that the victim of the sexual assaults turns things around on her attackers by seducing them and mutilating each of them in grotesque ways. In one scene, after burying an axe in a man's back, she used the motorized propeller of a small boat's engine to disembowel another. This movie is considered by many, including critics such as Roger Ebert, to be one of the worst films ever made. Number five is Guinea Pig, Flowers of Flesh and Blood. This film is actually one in a six-part film series out of Japan called Guinea Pig. This dark and graphic series was produced by Hidishi Hinro, who also starred in and directed the film. The second film in the Guinea Pig series, Flowers of Flesh and Blood, was released on November 30th, 1985. This movie follows Hinro as he dresses as a samurai, drugs a woman, and then kidnaps her. At his home, the man then cuts her into pieces and adds them to 
his collection of body parts. This movie is so realistically gruesome that actor Charlie Sheen, the tiger-blooded wizard himself, was convinced that the murder was real. He was so disturbed that he notified the FBI about the killing soon after seeing it in the early 90s. Though no charges were ever actually filed, some people still believe that the producers should be arrested over making something so horrific. Number six is Caligula. This film is one of the most widely known disturbing films in existence, partly because of the fact that there are multiple well-known actors in it, including Dame Helen Mirren, Peter O'Toole, and Malcolm McDowell, who starred as the main character. Considered to be a pornographic historical drama, Caligula is an Italian-American film directed by Tinto Brass. Initially released on August 14, 1979, this movie is still to this day banned in multiple countries due to its graphic content, which includes graphic, unsimulated sex scenes and hardcore nudity. Additionally, a number of critics have claimed that the film is incredibly negative, offering no saving scenes of happiness of any kind, which just adds to how disturbing it is. The controversy should come as no surprise when you hear that the film was the first and only one produced by the gentleman's magazine Penthouse. In fact, most of the real sex scenes involve penthouse pets as extras. Number seven is Martyrs. Released in May of 2008 at the Cannes Film Festival and September 3rd, 2008 globally, Martyrs is a French-Canadian thriller from the mind of writer-director Pascal Laguier. Martyrs takes viewers to a very dark place, delving into harsh subjects like psychological torture, physical torture, graphic violence, suicide, and mental illness. Considered a good example of the new era of French horror, the film tells the story of two girls, Anna and Lucy, on the run from people who had Lucy locked up and repeatedly abused her. Lucy believes that she's being pursued by a ghoul, so she breaks into random families' homes and kills all the occupants with a shotgun. But it becomes even darker as the ghoul becomes persistent and Lucy ends up committing suicide. The other girl, Anna, is eventually captured by a cult and skinned alive as a type of sacrifice in what proves to be the most stomach-wrenching scene in this film. Number eight is Necromantic. Now we're going to reach the sickest of the sick. In fact, this movie makes almost anyone who watches it or hear of it physically ill. One of the characters in this movie actually dies after being accidentally shot during the beginning of the movie, but that didn't stop him from being in all of the sex scenes that came after it. Released on November 1st, 1987, this West German horror exploitation film was co-written and directed by Jörg Butgerit and contains a fairly simple plot. A man brings home a fresh corpse for he and his sicko girlfriend to play with. In this truly disturbing film, a man who cleans up dead bodies decides to bring home a corpse of a gardener, which his girlfriend uses to please herself in very graphic ways. But you may be wondering how does she pull this off? Well, with a steel pole inserted inside of the man's body. The film also contains scenes where the girlfriend bathes in blood, a rabbit is graphically slaughtered, and robbed kills himself as he pleases himself. Number nine is Salo. This film is widely regarded as the most disgusting movie of all time. Also known as 120 Days of Sodom, Salo was first released in Italy on November 22, 1975, though only a handful of countries allow it in their theaters. This Italian-French horror film was unleashed on the world under the guise of being an art piece. The movie is apparently a journey through the darkest places in the filmmaker's mind, and that darkness includes teenagers being brutally tortured, both physically and mentally, graphic nudity, and horrific violence. The scenes are so realistic, it had many viewers believing that the producers had the actors actually mutilated. Like others on this list, Salo is still banned in a number of countries. In this case though, it was mostly due to the fact that almost all the unsettling occurrences seemed to happen to actors younger than 18 years old. Salo's director, Pierpaolo Pasolini was murdered just three weeks before the art piece was released, and the circumstances surrounding his death are a mystery even today. And number 10 is The Human Centipede. 
Of all of the films on this list, The Human Centipede has the honor of being the one you've most likely already heard of or seen. Written, produced, and directed by Tom Six, this vomit-inducing horror film was released on August 30th, 2009, and went on to make all of us gag at simply hearing the premise. In the movie, Dr. Joseph Heider, a twisted ex-surgeon who used to specialize in separating conjoined twins, wants to make his fantasy a reality. His fantasy being a series of human beings sewn together mouth to anus to form a disgusting chain that he calls the human centipede. He obtains volunteers by drugging and kidnapping three tourists, two being American and one Japanese. Soon after, he goes to work assembling his creation. He pulls this off and his success makes most of the audience quite ill, especially when the man at the front of the chain suddenly needs to defecate. So, those were the 10 most disturbing films of all time, however, there is one more film that you need to know about. There is a movie called A Serbian Film. The theme and contents of this film are so dark and disturbing I literally did not even feel comfortable enough to describe it to you in this list. However, although I do not recommend looking it up, it does exist in its entirety right now on YouTube. But as always, I want to know, have you seen any of the films on this list or are there any other disturbing films that exist that deserve to be on this list? Leave a comment below because I'll be reading through them and I'm going to pin the best one to the top. Thank you guys very much for coming by today. Remember to come by tomorrow and every weekday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I'll have a brand new video for you. I'll see you then.